Hi, and welcome to this, my first video on my YouTube channel. I'm a costume maker by trade. I trained at the London College of Fashion and have been working in the business for 27 years. I do many things besides costume. I do wedding dresses. I work with costume collectors uh, who collect Hollywood costumes and help them restore the things that they own, or I make things for them that are missing from their collections. This is something I really enjoy as films have always been a passion of mine ever since I was small. So you'll be seeing some of those things here on this channel. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do on the channel is make this dress, which everyone will recognise. It's the Dorothy dress from The Wizard of Oz. This catalogue is from Julian's auctions from when they sold one in 2012 and the catalogue has some really great pictures of it in there. The costume was designed by the Hollywood designer Gilbert Adrian who worked under just the name Adrian and he ran the costume department at MGM and designed several hundred films during his time there. Wizard of Oz probably being one of the most famous ones. The Dorothy dress features several iconic Adrian isms I suppose you could call them. The use of gingham which he used in other films like Philadelphia Story and Pride and Prejudice and the use of gingham sorry so now we've got he also used rickrack braid in a lot of things as trimming i'll be making the dress using techniques that were used at the time in 1939 so there'll be no modern finishing on the costume at all the costume is made up of three items there's a petticoat a blouse and a pinafore dress so i shall be working through each of these i hope you enjoy this video and please like and subscribe to my page and I hope you look forward to seeing more. Thank you very much. These are the fabrics we'll be using for the project. The blue gingham for the pinafore dress which is synonymous with Dorothy and for the blouse a white cotton voile. This will also be used for the backing of the bodice for the pinafore dress. These fabrics were purchased at A1 Textiles in the Goldhawk Road, London. So now I've cut out the backing fabric, I'm now marking the sewing lines onto the fabric using tracing paper. So I'm drawing the line on the uppermost side with pencil and then when this is done I will turn it over and I'll show you that using the pencil will have transferred the lines onto the reverse of using the tracing paper.
That's the majority of the machine stitching done on the skirt now, apart from the lines of gathering threads around the top, which we'll be putting in later. Now we're going to do some hand sewing. What a lot of people don't realise about the original dress is that besides the skirt hem facing, which we've already attached, there was then a hem turned up on the inside as well. This was to help give the skirt some weight and to give it the A-line shape that was needed. So that's the next step we'll be working on. Now we're going to sew the bias strips onto the neckline of the bodice. These are sewn onto each individual piece of the bodice rather than in one continuous stripe. Once it's sewn onto the neckline, we'll trim the seam allowance away, flip it over to the right side and then top stitch it in position. Now we're going to pin the side seams together using the lines that we marked on the backing fabric. So just when you put the pin in, just check that the lines line up on the, on the back. And do this on both sides. And then we'll machine it together. It's best to start at the top so that you can line up your neck edges. Thank you. 
Now the seams are sewn, we'll uh, pink them and press them open as we did on the skirt. You may notice that on the centre back panel on the side seam that it's higher than the neckline. The best way to deal with this is just to turn it in slightly at the top, like so, and just do a few hand stitches to keep it in. Next we're going to sew the belt. This is just a long strip of bias cut fabric. Now I'm going to sew the hook and eye tape into the bodice using the zipper foot. Once you've sewn the hook tape on, flip it over and then machine down this edge. Next are the pinafore straps. Sew around the edge, remembering to leave a gap so that you can turn them through. Press them and then top stitch around the edge. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Now I'm going to attach the straps. These are held on at the front and back by buttons, which are purely decorative. 